I found one of your statues. Rabbit! Welcome, edition. How are you doing? I'm fine. With the past, I mean. Your past. That's one of those questions you shouldn't ask. Is it? I guess those are the rules. But someone should ask it, even if you ask it of yourself. <laughs> what are you, a Zen master now? Of course. Didn't you know? What would you like to learn?
the table. The students were merely dead. <laughs> Stop by again if you find one of my statues. This is Chu. I was just stopping by to see if there was anything you needed. I, I know it's no consolation, but I got a look at one of the gunmen from the wedding. Now I will find him, and I'll make him tell me who's responsible. Don't go. You'll find him. You'll take him here. Ricky, this way. Shit, way. How you holding up? I got a lot of loose ends to clean up. I need an outsider for a couple things. You got Johnny Ratface's number? Johnny Ratface? Man, stay away from that lunatic. You give him a job, you're gonna have to steam clean your conscience when he's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know all about him. He's my man. I guess you know what you're doing. Hey, is this, uh, is this Johnny? Yeah. Uh, a friend sent me to you. Works with a lot of movie stars, know what I mean? So? So I got a problem. He said you could help me. I'm busy. Wait, 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 please. Look, I trade diamonds down in Central. My partner took off with all our stuff. And by the time the cops look into it, he'll be halfway to Shanghai. I'll never get them back. Diamonds, huh? All I need is someone to recover them. I pay a large fee. Okay, okay. What's the guy's name? His name is, uh, Large Bucktooth Cho. He lives at 101 Aberdeen Road, but I think he may be at his girlfriend's apartment. Yeah, yeah, where's that? She's at, uh, hold on, I'm looking it up. She's up on Marlboro. It's a green building with a lot of bamboo outside of it. Moron, what's the number? I think there's an eight in it. Do you go, Lay? Uh, look, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. Here it is, 818. He's not a tall man. Big buck teeth, uh... <sighs> How many fucking diamonds? He wears white shirts, black shoes. Screw you! You on your own! Fucking hell.
Hey, is this, uh, is this Johnny? Yeah. A friend sent me to you. Works with a lot of movie stars, you know what I mean? So? So I got a problem. He said you could help me. I'm busy. Wait, 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 please. Look, I trade diamonds down in Central. My partner took off with all our stock. And by the time the cops look into it, he'll be halfway to Shanghai. I'll never get them back. Diamonds, huh? All I need is someone to recover. I pay a large fee. Okay, okay. What's the guy's name? His name is, uh... Got you, fucker. Baby, I promise. Are you insane? Think of all the money we'll make. This is our future, you and me. Fuck you, asshole. I'm not taking off my clothes for you or anyone else.
the rest of the boys! I need them here, now! Mrs. Chu, Winston's mother. Asama! I don't know what this guy told you! Fuck! I don't know what you're talking about, you crazy old bitch! Please! Wait, wait! Don't leave me here! She's fucking crazy! Okay, okay, I'll tell you anything you want to know! Just please, don't! <laughs> ah! Right now, we gotta stick together. We just can't let the 18K get away with this. What makes you so sure it was 18K? We all saw them. They were definitely 18K. Even stupid Jackie knows that. You ever think maybe they were just trying to look like 18K? Look, we've had a few skirmishes with them lately, but nothing major. It doesn't make sense that they would do something this big. Oh, oh, so, so, so who do you think it was? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. <clears throat> and who the fuck are you? I'm here for Mr. Lee. I take it you've heard of Big Smiley. He's another son on ye boss, Red Pole, just like Winston. Okay, what can we do for Mr. Lee? 
He has decided that for the time being, you may continue your operations in this area. But the percentage previously paid to Winston will now go to Mr. Lee. That's an interesting proposition. But I have a counteroffer from Mr. Lee. I'd appreciate if you relay this back to him word for word. Can you do that? You tell Mr. Lee that his people stay the fuck out of our territory and in return, we'll let him live. I don't think you'll find that offer to his liking. I think you'll find that I don't give a fuck. You see our guest out, make sure he doesn't get lost. You'll regret this. I promise you that.
No way you get away clean, Ponytail! No way! Tell your boss, stay the fuck out of my territory. Fuck you, eh? Miss Yang is a red pole. And she just saved your life. Miss Jang? Broken nose Jang? My apologies, Madame Red Pole. So why'd you bring me out here? I have heard a lot about you, Wei Shen. <laughs> I will get to the point. You must realize that you cannot stand against Big Smile Lee alone. That's what everyone tells me. Roland Ho said I'd need other bosses to support me. Indeed. Nah. I believe in harmony, balance, peace, and I don't mind spilling a little blood to achieve it. With Uncle Po in the hospital, there's much uncertainty in the Sun on Yi. If he recovers, we will both be stable and strong. But if he dies? The 18K presents a very real threat. We cannot afford to appear weak. We will need to elect a new chairman quickly. You, for instance. Ah, Big Smile Lee represents a step backwards for the Sun On Yi. Why continue to force girls into prostitution and pornography when there are other, less archaic, more profitable ways for us to make money? I have very different ideas about our future. I want to take the Sun On Yi forward. But it would be unwise even for me to stand against Big Smile Lee unaided. Which brings me to you. Nah, we both appear to have the same problem, Wei Shen. And the opportunity to benefit if we work together. So it seems. I have my own reasons for hating Big Smile Lee's operation. Now if you stand against him, you can count on me. Good. We will talk soon.
Suspect, 